Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today I just wanted to encourage anyone that's on the channel that's an uh, intercessor. Um, I will never forget hearing this pastor who said that there is no such ministry, or in other words, service uh, to our fellow man that is called intercessory prayer. Well, friends, listen, I have walked with Christ for over 30 years and I have met many men and women who Jesus, you got to remember, all power, all authority has been given to Jesus. And the harvest of souls comes through him. And he gives gifts according to his will. Ephesians chapter 4 tells us that Jesus gives gifts. Okay, um, he gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Now, via Holy Spirit, he can um, he could do whatever he wants because we are his disciples, we are his followers, and and we know that God the Father has given all power to Jesus. That's right. If you got some serious troubles, you call on that name because there is no name more powerful than Jesus. Which leads me to this point that I'm making about intercessors. Jesus knows, like all of us should know, prayer is talking to God. And when God puts it in someone's heart to pray for you, to pray about all of the, 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 the pains, the sufferings, the anxiety, and the fears that's all over the earth, we have a global pandemic. And I want to encourage intercessors, be refreshed be refreshed, receive fresh oil down in your hearts. I have met many friends. They are like snipers. They are like um, special operations. They literally, they, they, they set aside their own problems and pains and fears and find time to talk to God on your behalf, on the behalf of the nation, on the behalf of the president, on behalf of Israel, on behalf of every person that God will place on their hearts. Friends, we thank God for you today. You, These are the, the unseen warriors, just like special operation groups, Navy SEALs, Green Berets, these men, the Delta Force, these men and women that God has touched their heart, you're doing a work that is vitally important. How can we be at war? How can we have hand-to-hand -hand combat? How can we go to war for souls and you don't have some spiritual snipers, sharpshooters hanging somewhere out in the fields in their heart overseeing and watching all the things that's going down and bringing those petitions to God? I thank God for our team at Motivating You to Win. Shout out to all Motivating You to Win intercessors. I love every last one of you. Friends, I tell you, these women that have been on this team, many have been on our team for a long time. They are fully dedicated. And I want you all to know you are valuable. See, see, when there is a war, and right now we have a war, the coronavirus is a global pandemic, and people are experiencing things they have not felt probably ever, and for some, they are suffering, friends. Deep suffering is going on, and we want the intercessors to know, be refreshed, be refreshed. And we thank God for you staying the course and keeping your focus to play out your role as the Lord has put it in your hearts to intercede on the behalf of the people. So, friends, be encouraged. I want you to know, um, if I don't post a video, don't get frazzled. No, I am very much working here. I am in compliance with the stay at home, but I am in my laboratory. I am working. I am still making all of our fundraising products. We cannot give away food cards and the things that we do as a charity except we keep 
producing the things that we use to fundraise. I am very busy, friends, and I am concerned about what I see. I am concerned about how some so-called confessing Christians or followers of Christ are, are making light of people's sufferings. Listen to me, friend, and hear me as I get ready to close this exhortation. You should throw a side eye up to anybody that is making light of other people's suffering, and they do it in the name of Jesus. You're supposed to be a prophet, a pastor, evangelist, a teacher, whatever you claim you are, but you pretty much bash the suffering of other people. Shh, listen, friends, hear me closely. If that's you, you need to go away and, and put yourself on a spiritual quarantine, spiritual isolation, and check your heart. How can any of us claim to love God and to see people suffering? And whether God is judging the entire globe, for you not to have a heart to want to help the suffering, Something wrong with that picture. Because the Bible said they shall know that we belong to him. Because one, we love one another. And we, we, love, we love in action. That's why, my friends, I want to encourage all of you to that can. Because, friends, many people are not being rattled financially. Many people are. But not everyone is feeling financial impact. They're not. So those are the people that we're beseeching to keep donating. Keep purchasing um, items from the soap fundraising shop. Because this is how I load up. I call our ministry truck the miracle truck. I was out this past Sunday. And I was not planning to do random acts and to work out of the truck. But friends, let me assure you, the suffering is real. And I want those of you that can keep sending those gift cards. We, oh friends, I thank every person that's been sending the food chain gift cards. The people are so blessed. Yes, you have to do takeout. And those of you who can do gift cards at Walmart, Target, the National Discount Department Stores, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, I want y'all... Go get those gift cards. Send them to our seven locations. We have seven locations where we are taking those gift cards. And these precious sisters are taking them straight to the streets. Together, we can do it. We can do it. Keep sending those donations, friends. We are taking them straight to the people. Get involved. And the intercessors, you pray for our intercessors, I want every person, if you watch this video, pray for America's intercessors. They are our sharpshooters. They are our spiritual snipers. That they stay refreshed, they stay focused, and they stay renewed in their minds. They are valuable. And I want you all to ponder this before I close this exhortation. Do you actually think we would have come this far as a people in God's earth if there were not intercessors? People who earnestly stand before the throne of grace, interceding for the people and the problems. Oh, friends, we love you, intercessors. I love every last one of you that's on our team and motivating you to win. You are valuable and we love you. Everyone, pray for our intercessors. Not just motivating you to win, intercessors, but every intercessor, every sniper. That's what they are, friends. These are some war machines. Because let me tell you this. When a sniper puts his eye on his lens, he could be on that target for 
hours upon hours upon hours. Intercessors are like that. They stay. They keep on beseeching God. They keep asking God, God, have mercy. God, have mercy. God, help them. God, turn that thing back. God, turn it around. God, do it. This is the work of a sniper. They are like laser focused on your behalf. And we thank God for you. Be encouraged, soldiers. Chin up. Carry on. Be strong. For the work you do is not in vain. We love you, my friends. Till next time, God bless.